Well, you know, I give it some thought on this, and I've asked people in my district of what they thought, and they didn't uh, think we needed to drop the blood quantum. But I do think it's going to happen sometime, and it's going to be a sad day when that happens, because when that happens, I believe there'll be no more songs sung in church, no more creek songs in church. We'll have no mikos or ceremonial grounds. And I hope we never get to that point. But when that happens, then the blood quantum will be dropped. But until then, well, as long as we hold strong to what we do, I think it, uh, we, we're, there's no need to drop the blood quantum. As far, far as the uh, blood quantum uh, requirement to hold public office, I think that's really up to the citizens to say this is what they want. And uh, if that's what the citizens want, then I think that's what uh, the uh, nation should look at and go forward with it. That's a tough issue right there. Uh, <laughs> there is a lot of concern, and we, be, we have been hearing a lot of concerns on that. But to me, in order to do that, there has to be another constitutional convention for that, and I think that should be up to the people's decision. I feel like the blood quantum requirement is a uh, option of the people. Uh, if that's what the majority of the people want to see happen, uh, I feel like that uh, once it's voted on and confirmed, then um, that blood quantum uh, issue should be decided by the people. I believe that the Muscogee Creek Nation should not reduce the blood quantum requirement for holding office. Same-sex marriage. I was always taught that a marriage is between a man and a wife, but I also see changes coming. And uh, I don't, right now, the Muscogee Creek Nation is holding true to uh, uh, not recognizing that, but I do feel like that in the near future, but not, it's not gonna happen right now. And uh, before I could really say, what my opinion is, I, I'm going to have to talk to the citizens to get an overall view of how they see it and uh, go with their opinion before I could uh, really decide on this. But I haven't asked uh, a whole lot of people about this yet, but until I do, I can't really say that I'm a, a, give, a for it or against it because I'll have to do what uh, my constituents want. I really don't have a... Um I guess, uh, opinion whether it should be legalized or recognized. Uh, certainly I thought that we already had done that and it's just not a, a, an issue, but uh, that is something that um, I think we really need to look at and if we don't have the laws, then we need to make them. That's, that's another one uh, and I know one of these days it's going to come down to our tribe. It's working its way down and to me, it's, it's whatever makes them happy. I'm not one to discriminate. The issue of the same-sex marriage is a political spotlight throughout the world. Um, each individual has its own uh, impression, uh, its biblical thoughts, uh, its concerns. Um, uh, of those individuals that uh, decide to uh, pursue that. Uh, if the nation and the people decide that is something they want to recognize, uh, then I feel like that uh, it then again has to be the same majority of the people to accept the same-sex marriage. I believe that marriage is one man to one woman. <clears throat> I remember as a kid we did a per cap payment and uh, I think my payment was just a little less over a hundred. But as big as the tribe is, we're 80,000 members plus and to do a per cap payment would be a one-time payment which would be not very much for anybody, but as long as we keep our uh, uh, funds going where they can draw interest, that would better the tribe 
more. So I don't think a, a per cap payment is the best interest of the tribe, although I know citizens would like, like to have it. But it, it's something that's a difficult question to answer right now, but I don't believe I'd be in favor of uh, per cap payments. As far as uh, establishing per capita payments to the citizens, I, for one, say right at this time, it should be looked at. However, we need to be looking at uh, what is happening at the federal level with the Department of Interior. Apparently, we have people who represent an, uh, um, the American Indian population who does not really support uh, funding tribal governments and we are going to have to do that on our own. But I see that as a sovereign nation, there are a lot of things that we could be doing that we're not doing. So I'd say, yes, we need to be looking at that in the future for sure. That also is a, another tough question too. That, that's been raising a lot of concern. And again, I think that itself needs to be for another constitutional convention and that should be up to the people on the vote for that as well. Per capita has been discussed many times uh, throughout uh, the years of, of our tribe. Uh, there's many elements we have to consider uh, as far as uh, the main issue would be our population as a tribe. Uh, is it uh, economic, economically possible for us to do per capita payments to our citizens? Um, factors. Uh, different studies need to be initiated before uh, I feel that any uh, person can say we can do per cap. Um, that is something that uh, if, it's, if it's economical possible, uh, then I feel like that uh, if we can pursue it uh, and, and it's feasible, then it's something we could look at. However, um, you know, funding comes into play uh, every year with government regulations, tribal money, different aspects of what the tribe wants to pursue and do as far as establishing uh, different services, um, different federal regulatory uh, issues with the money we receive. And, you know, if we have a number of things on the books that uh, the tribe sees we need to do, then, you know, per cap is going to uh, hinder that process as well. So there's many factors and elements that we need to look at before we can say we can do per cap. I would like to see per capita payments to citizens. I think we need to make sure that it goes to the proper, I guess you would say, services for them, whether it's education, social services. I think in some case, if you give people basically a check uh, it may be like handing a hand grenade to a child. Uh, I hear that people will misuse the fundings, but I do believe that we need to help our people financially, and I think we need to make sure that we do have adequate funding for our programs to help our tribal citizens. And I think a per capita payment is a good idea. It just depends on how we it's distribute it. I will use every means available to uh, meet with my constituents. Social media, yes. The press, yes. Community meetings, yes. As a former council uh, representative, I attended all the committee meetings in my district every month. I was informed the people told me what they thought, and I also had a lunch with the elders at the uh, nutrition center there in Okima. So as a Council Representative, I will be in touch with the citizens. And I also attend every, uh, try to not to attend every meeting, but most of the meetings on uh, uh, the Youth Council because uh, that they're important, the youth are important, the elders are important, and just citizens in general are all important. And that's important as a council rep to, to meet with the constituents and get their ideas and to uh, try to pre-represent them the best way possible. I will be using the social media, the press, uh, community meetings. Um, I'm already out there, I guess as far as you can see. Um, one of the things that I want to do is 
I'm saying make it about the people because we say, we see things that says it's about the people, but um, I remember a long time ago, back in the 70s and 80s, we really had to work as uh, American Indian people to do uh, lots of things and look how far we've come. But with the Bureau of Indian Affairs running us and telling us what to do, we had to turn around and say what we want and what we need. And so it's been a while to me for us to say our citizens are the ones that push this along and we haven't been listening to them. So one of the things that I'm doing is going out into the communities with a, a survey or a questionnaire, if you will, to find out, because I know what I think. I need to know what the people think. <clears throat> I'll use whatever I can to reach out to my citizens, constituents, uh, telephone, social media, mostly by uh, telephone, Facebook, use any resource that I can to reach out to my citizens. I think that uh, uh, communicating uh, with our citizens, uh, tribal participation, uh, is something we need to do better, uh, uh, not just as council members or administration, but overall. Um, the things that uh, people utilize now as far as social media, Facebook, different things of that nature. Uh, some of our citizens aren't quite uh, adequate to, to doing those things. Uh, community meetings are a good way and source of getting more involvement, face-to-face uh, -face communication, and that's the things that uh, some of the, the uh, things have lacked, I believe, that we have to, as citizens of our communities, to attend those meetings so we have tribal participation. Well, I plan on communicating with my constituents mainly through social media. I plan on having my phone number out there, which is the most convenient way for me. I think maybe the most convenient way for a lot of people is just to call me. Uh, as a representative, I would like to have an office established within my district where people can come and see me personally and if they want to sit down and talk to me face to face, they can do that. But I think social media is a good way of communicating with people who are out, who can't get to you for whatever reason, whether it's distance or whatever. And I think it's important to make an effort to make it to the community meetings. But I think primarily it'll be through social media, phone calls, and through my uh, email. I think it's important to reach people out there and hear their opinions because I think a lot of good ideas come from other people in the community and I think you should listen to those because they do have good ideas. And so primarily I think I'm going to look at uh, having my phone number out there really because that's the best way I usually communicate with people, the most convenient way at least. And so it'll be through social media and my phone and as well as uh, uh, my email. My affiliation, I'm a registered Democrat, and uh, I try not to go along party lines all the time because I feel like you want to vote for the best person available at that position. Now, and that's, that's my stance on it. I know sometimes I even vote independent on some elections. I voted Republicans on some, and I voted Democrats on some. So. Even though I'm a registered Democrat, I don't always follow my party lines. Political party for a Democratic. Um, as a Democrat, uh, I've been involved with uh, making sure that people know about voting, um, especially in the last election. So um, I, I haven't really gotten on any boards or any committees, any committees, but uh, I am uh, involved with uh, as many organizations uh, on the local level as, as, as I have time for uh, with the um, communities, with the county, uh, as well as with the state. I am currently sitting on the Oak Fusky District Seat B right now uh, and just trying to do the best to my ability to do what I can to help any which way possible. I've been a registered voter ever since I turned 18. I, uh, I, I did file as a Democrat. Um, I voted every year there's been an election, whether it be federal or uh, tribal or city elections, county elections. 
Uh, I feel like it's important for our individuals, ourselves, to be involved in those type of decisions. Uh, that is how one way your voice is heard by electing your officials. Well, I'm Republican. I uh, support the Republican Party platform. And so uh, I get involved with the, uh, the local, uh, I guess you would say, uh, Republican Party. Uh, we do have meetings there uh, off and on in the Okima area. I have been to some of their meetings and enjoyed the information they give out. Uh, so by and large, I would be considered, I think, uh, a conservative. And so uh, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs>